Symbiotic. The term symbiotic is often used to describe a close and mutually beneficial relationship between two organisms or things. It signifies a relationship where both parties benefit from each other's presence or actions. This word is derived from the Greek word symbiosis, which means living together. In biology, Symbiosis refers to the interaction between two different species that live in close proximity to each other. There are three types of symbiotic relationships, mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism. 1. Mutualism. In mutualistic symbiosis, both organisms involved benefit from the relationship. One classic example is the relationship between bees and flowers. Bees collect nectar from flowers while inadvertently transferring pollen from one flower to another, aiding in the flower's reproduction. The bees benefit by obtaining food, nectar, while the flowers benefit from the pollination process. 2. Commensalism. In commensalistic symbiosis, one organism benefits while the other is neither harmed nor benefited. An example is the relationship between cattle and cattle egrets. Cattle stir up insects as they move through fields, which attracts the egrets. The egrets feed on the insects, benefiting from an easily accessible food source, while the cattle are unaffected. 3. Parasitism. In parasitic symbiosis, one organism, the parasite, benefits at the expense of the other, the host. A common example is the relationship between ticks and mammals. Ticks attach themselves to the host's skin and feed on their blood, often causing harm or transmitting diseases. The ticks benefit from the host's blood, while the host suffers negative consequences. Outside of biology, the term symbiotic can be used to describe relationships or interactions between people, systems, or concepts. Here are a few examples. 1. In a healthy romantic relationship, both partners support and care for each other, creating a symbiotic bond where both individuals benefit. 2. In a business partnership, two companies may work together, sharing resources and expertise, to achieve mutual success. This symbiotic relationship helps both businesses grow and thrive. 3. The relationship between a teacher and a student can be symbiotic. The teacher imparts knowledge and guidance, while the student brings enthusiasm and a desire to learn. Both benefit from this exchange, resulting in academic growth. In summary, symbiotic refers to a close and mutually beneficial relationship between two organisms or things. It is commonly used in the context of biology to describe different types of interactions between species. However, the term can also be applied to various other aspects of life where two entities benefit from each other's presence or actions.